So a waterproof jacket with fully taped seams, 15,000 millimeters on the Hydrostat rating, lots of great features built in, thumb loops, fully adjustable hood, and lots of awesome storage options. And it can be worn under or over a race vest. And you get all this for under 90 pounds. Come on guys, what's the catch? Welcome back folks, thanks for watching. I'm Lloyd Purvis and this is Run For Adventure. In today's video, we are taking an in-depth look at Harrier Trail's brand new Exmoor running waterproof jacket. Now, if you're not familiar with Harrier, they are a British trail running brand based here in the Peak District and they're known for producing quality items such as race vests, running poles, soft flasks, bladders, clothing and lots of other trail running goodies. The brand are all about offering the consumer great value for money by cutting out the middleman or woman and also by offering fantastic customer service. By doing all of this they've built up a real loyal following here in the UK and overseas but it is the first time they have developed and produced a running waterproof jacket so let's dive in and give you a few more details. The Exmoor jacket comes with fully taped internal seams and has a hydrostatic waterproof rating of 15,000 millimeters. It has a breathability rating of 15,000 also it is constructed from a four-way stretch very soft polyester with a PU internal membrane and that membrane's there just to protect that internal layer of the jacket from sweat and dirt buildup. We have a three-way adjustable hood with a built-in soft peak. We've got rubber grippers on the shoulders to help when you're running with a race vest or a hydration pack and we've got lots of storage options so two big zip pockets on the front and a chest pocket but also on the lower back of the jacket you get another zip pocket which actually allows you to stow the jacket it into it for easy storage. There's a nice bit of adjustment on the hem and we've got some really handy thumb loops worked into the construction of the sleeves just in case you're out there in real hostile conditions. You're probably looking at the jacket thinking well it's got two front zips and you'd be right but they've been put on because the jacket can be worn under or over your race vest using a clever pleated design on the back and we're seeing a lot of manufacturers using that pleated system in their jackets now so basically the pleats allow the jacket to expand so you can put it on over the top of your running pack and then you have that secondary zip so you can access your soft flasks and any goodies along the way. Finishing off you get some nice Harrier high vis detailing we got some pit zips for a bit of extra ventilation and you can act actually roll the jacket down into its own hem when you don't need it and sort of carry it like a running belt or a bum bag and last but not least you get that great airflow press stud feature which is a feature I love to have in my running jackets. So you can see the brand new Exmoor waterproof running jacket from Harrier is packed full of great running features and I forgot to mention that you get all those great features that great level of protection and breathability for the incredibly good value of only £89. I've had the jacket for a good couple of months now and I've run it in lots of different weather conditions from driving rain and wind uh, all the way through to some days where it was probably a bit too warm and a bit too sunny to be wearing a jacket but you know you've got to test these things in all kinds of conditions so let's go through how the jacket is performed and see if there's anything we feel that could be improved but let's start with the good stuff first. Some of the waterproof jackets that I've used in the past can sound and feel like you are running in a plastic bag so so it's really nice to have this very soft four-way stretchy fabric that's been used in the construction by Harrier. It makes the jacket feel very plush, very comfortable when you're out there running or using it as an everyday jacket. Breathability is always going to be a hard thing to achieve in a waterproof jacket and I like the fact that Harrier have worked in some pit zips into the Exmoor jacket. It's not actually a feature we see that often on a running waterproof and uh, I've got it on a few of my sort of Gore-Tex Pro Shell walking jackets and it tends to work pretty well. Uh, I'm not fully convinced on how them pit zips have been positioned but we also get that awesome airflow press stud. So this little press stud feature here, I'm sure there's lots of you at home thinking, 
What's Lloyd going on about? It's just a little press stud. Surely it can't make that much difference, but it really does. So you unzip your jacket because you feel you're getting a bit too warm and you don't want to overheat and it's a windy day. So now that jacket is flapping around all over the place and causing a bit of a parachute effect. With this press stud, you just clip it shut and that solves all those problems. So a really simple design, but very effective. Now, I'm not normally a fan of pockets on a running jacket because personally, I don't want to run around with things bouncing all over the place in the pockets of my jacket. But I do like the big pocket on the back of the Exmoor jacket. Uh, I think it's really, really useful, really well placed on the jacket. And it kind of reminds me of something you might see on a cycling jacket. But also, I love the fact that it doubles up as a place to stow the jacket away in. So, pretty cool feature. Now, I tend to wear my waterproof running jackets under my pack most of the time. Apart from the odd occasion when it's been a short, sharp shower and I've just grabbed it out and stuffed it on over the top. But none of my jackets are really designed to do that. So it can be a bit of a struggle. So I think it's great to have that option with the Exmoor jacket, whether you wear it under or over, and it makes it very versatile. But what I also found is because you've got the two zips on the front because of that system, it makes the jacket feel very soft and comfortable around the neckline. So lots of things that have impressed me on a jacket of this price point, and the level of protection from the elements has been top notch. But there are a few things on here that I feel with a subtle bit of tweaking could be improved and make the jacket even better. The first one being is there's quite a lot of zip action going on on this jacket. So by that I mean you've got the two side zip pockets, you have a zipped chest pocket, you've got a pit zip on either side with a zip, and then you've got that extra zip on the front so you can access your pack. So in total, there is seven zips on the front of this jacket. So I'm not fully convinced we need this amount of storage options or zips on the front of our run running waterproof jacket. And like I said earlier in the review, I'm not a fan of pockets on any of my running jackets. I just don't think they work that well. And with the Exmoor jacket, if you did want to stow anything away, you've got that really well placed, good sized rear pocket that you can fit a lot of kit in. So I think a better option would be to lose those two side pockets on the front. You've still got that great little chest pocket and then that takes two zips out of the equation straight away. The only other thing I mentioned is the fabric that's been used in the construction offers great levels of protection against the elements. Having that nice four-way stretch, being very plush, makes it very comfortable to run in, but it also makes the jacket quite heavy. So weighing in at 340 grams means it doesn't pack down as small as some of my other lighter weight waterproof running jackets. Now, I know it'd be totally unfair to compare the Exmoor jacket against those jackets because they're almost three times the price of this, but when I stow this away in that rear facing pocket, the jacket is still quite a big size and it takes up quite a lot of room in your race vest and doesn't leave a lot of space for extra mandatory kit. So there you have it, the brand new Exmoor waterproof running jacket from Harrier Trail. What we thought about how it's performed and also highlight in a few areas that we feel with a few subtle tweaks could improve this great value running jacket. But it's about time we wrap this review up with a quick conclusion. Now I'd say if you are a racing snake and every ounce and every gram really matters to you when it comes to your mandatory race kit, you want to carry a super light waterproof jacket that packs down to the size of your fist, then this jacket probably isn't for you. But if you're not over concerned about the weight or the packability and you just want a waterproof jacket that's going to offer you great levels of protection from all weather conditions, you want it to be adjustable, you want it to be very flexible and versatile and have lots of great running features from a British brand that really cares about the products that it produces and obviously you want great value for money, then I'd definitely recommend going along to the Harrier Trail website and taking a closer look at the Exmoor running waterproof jacket. So that is a wrap on another review here at Run For Adventure. Uh, we just want to say a massive thanks to Harrier Trail for sending down the Exmoor jacket for us to test and review at the channel. It is really, really appreciated. We've also just been lucky enough to get our hands on the exciting new updated Kinder 10 litre race vest. Uh, this is a pack that I've tested in the past. We did a, an ultra marathon, 38 miles across Cornwall. It was the first outing in the Kinder 10 litre and it performed really well. So really excited to get the new version on, get some miles in it, and we'll be bringing you guys a full in-depth review very soon on the channel. Really hope you enjoyed the review and you found it helpful. Don't forget, we just 
recently uploaded Run for Adventures Running Waterproof Buying Guide. So if you're in the market for a new waterproof running jacket and you're a little bit overwhelmed by all the options that are available these days, then that video might be really helpful. So I've left a link in the description below. If you're enjoying the content we're producing here at Run for Adventure, you can support us on our Patreon page. And by becoming a patron, it opens up a world of Run for Adventure perks from exclusive Patreon content to a discount codes for our merch store and some very cool exclusive merchandise. Uh, again, I've left links in the description below if you want to support the channel in that way. It really is appreciated, guys, and we want to say a massive thanks to all the guys and girls that have become patrons of the channel already. It really helps the channel to grow and get better because we reinvest that money into new equipment. So that is the end of another video. We will see you back here very soon. But as always, stay safe and keep on running. You can support us through our Patreon page and by becoming a patron, it up opens...